The big question, the, the question that really drives what we do is how do we respond when students aren't learning? And with the answer to that question, you really get a host of interventions, modifying the timetable to individualizing student schedules to having a real focus on assessment practices. It's a very structured environment, very organized structured environment, but within the structure there's a great deal of freedom, individualized learning, and I think we, that approach that we have is what makes what well, my class is so successful. The thrust is uh, individualized education. Um, is there a revolution coming in education? I, I guess it depends who you listen to. Right now we're just working on the little things that we can do. We say to them, come with your talents, come with your uh, interests, and we'll work with you. And when we put all that together with a, a tremendous team of dedicated teachers and staff, we get tremendous results from our students. Teacher Mr. Nielsen, she helps me push forward and help my creativity to span. Art for me, it helped me express my emotions. Three, two, one, go! I actually got these these um, my friends to be in our band and then we just got together and we were a great band. The guitar player and drummer came up to me and said, Mr. Hearn, look what we learned over the weekend. And they played the whole song for me. And I said, okay, well, why don't you teach it to everyone else? The difference with rock band is there's no conductor. When they're performing, the kids are independent. Handball is a class that we chose to take in the beginning of the year. And the more they get to learn how to play it, the more excited they get and to learn different techniques. It's often, it's actually really interesting to see the kids at the beginning of the year, they're like, oh, I only got one part. And I always tell them, it, but if that part was missing, it wouldn't be a song, it wouldn't be music. It's not necessarily about marks, but helping kids get where they want to get. And you know, we believe they, they should leave here at the end of grade 12 with the most options they can possibly have. We just thought it would be really fun to be working with each other and making like robots. It was fun building the robot by ourselves without the instructions or anything. It's really fun because you got the choice to pick. It's not like school where you're forced to do it, which doesn't make it very fun. As a learner changed, uh, I don't know. We're still trying to teach the same skills of, you know, reading, writing, uh, numeracy, but we're using the tools to help us do that. It's just been an evolution, right? I truly believe that this is my child's journey. This school is his journey. I'm just along for the ride. And so I absolutely, they are happy, I'm happy. Where do I see myself or the school in two years? I think continuing to um, personalize, continuing to make learning meaningful to the students. 